Today I'm putting a set of sway bars on the back of my car. These are heist. This is a diagram and a diagram. And okay, another idea is to put this in here and spread that open as far as you can get it. Let's see if you can push that. Hey, look at there. Ta-da! Well, I needed one more set of hands, right? Just one more set. And the ones I got. Oh, the joy. There you go. I feel progress happening here. There. Got that one on there. Okay, that goes like that. That goes like that. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna go on that. Let's see, did I bring my superhuman strength with me today? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure I bought a fresh bottle of superhuman strength just the other day. I ought to call up old, uh, what's his name, Swark Pete. My friend Pete, I ought to call up my friend Pete, because he he's done one of these, because I've seen him, I seen him do one on YouTube. He's probably got, if he ain't got super human strength in his hand, his, his sweetie probably does. I might want to devise a clamping, see I can almost do that if I can get my hands up in there at the same time. I might want to devise some kind of a clamping thing to squeeze them. But see I can squeeze them like that pretty much a little bit, but I can't get my hand in there. Okay, this is me theoretically solving that next problem with this set of vice grips and leaving enough room for this to fit on here. Theoretically, I should be able to put this over the axle, squeeze this, and then slip this into place there. Now, I said theoretical because I may not be able to fit my hand and the vice grips and everything in there. So, we don't know yet if that's actually going to work. What I'm going to do instead is just bend the metal. So what I did with this, I stuck this in this vise and I bent it. And I bent it in farther than it needed to go bend in to go through those holes so that when I released it, it didn't come out as far as it previously was. It only came out to a certain point, and that certain point is the point where these will both fit right in there like that. Now I don't have to get under that rear end and twist myself around and try to clamp this with vice grips to get that to come together. That's how I solved that problem. So that gets one of those into place, and I'm probably going to have to do the same thing over here. Let's see if that one's going to fit or whether I'm going to take it up and bend it also. <laughs> okay, that's one side. Now that's not done done, that's just uh, hanging up in there loosely done. But I'm going to come around to the other side. Ring shackle up against my chest. I don't feel like good. Oh, don't that go in there nice. Oh, I like it. This would be a handy place to have a set of vice grips within easy reach. But that ain't happening. So, let's just see if we can get a screw nut on here. Sort of hold that till I can get a better grip on it. Come on, hands, don't give out now. So, that's how that goes. And now, there's gonna be a bar of some sort that's gonna attach from here, it goes up toward the frame. I have yet to figure that part out, but having this part in place, oh, that's a big, that's a good start. So what I've got left is these parts and these parts. And this piece of paperwork says they're going to attach like that. And this may require some welding here. 
So this is how I think this is supposed to go. Uh, I think this end here goes up to the frame. This end goes through the end of that mount. And these pieces connect that together. And I don't know yet how I'm gonna mount that to the frame. So what I'm gonna do is just take it up under there and attach that, and then that way I can study on it from there. I feel like it's gonna be time for me to go get some lunch here in a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this, and this goes here, and then this can go pretty much anywhere where I can find a place to mount it. And that's kind of gonna be maybe the next challenge here is to figure out where that's going to be it doesn't matter how or where i mount it as long as i mount it solidly now i've got a piece of frame right here and this is a brake line right here there's a gas line somewhere in this car but i don't think there's any kind of line here so if i came in and welded something like a piece of metal I think I've got some little metal pieces. So that's going to be my next challenge is to figure that out. I was looking around in my metal pile for something that would make a good upper mount for those torsion bar ends. And I came across this. That's a good thick piece of metal right there. I could split that. I could put this inside the frame, mount this through the side of the frame and put another bolt down through the frame if I cut this correctly which would be a, a pretty cool thing so I'm gonna play with that a little bit and see where that takes me Okay, here's a little quick show and tell. Uh, this, uh, uh, I just have kind of trouble finding words, stationary bar, torsion bar. This is basically a big spring, but it's not curled in a curly cue like a coil spring, but it is still a spring and it attaches to the rear end and to the frame on both sides. When you hit a bump, these, Leaf springs will let one side or the other kind of bounce. But when it does that, it tends to sometimes bounce the whole car around, especially when a car like this one, this is a sedan. That's kind of a tall car, you know. It's got more, more body weight up high than down low, like that car, for instance. So with the torsion bar, I think, now keep in mind, I've never messed with one of these. I saw Swart Pete putting one on the car, and I thought, well, I'm not going to do that. That looks, that looks like a good idea. So I did it, and there it is. We're going to take it for a test drive, and we're going to see what we think. Uh, there might still be some things on there I want to address, uh, but for now, I feel like it's on there good enough to take a ride down the road. Now, where was I about to put that camera? I don't know. I'll put it right there. Until we get out of the garage and get going and, and figure out where we're going. Uh, I've got another guy in town 
the guy that we dance with talking about putting on a car show as a fundraiser for the women's shelter in town who buys they buy food and give it to people who are hungry and they're having a hard time affording to buy food so I was talking to him about it and he said why don't we throw a car show and I thought heck fire yeah you're my kind of guy buddy that's what I'd like to do so that may happen I'll keep you in line if it does happen I guarantee I'll be putting out the word so that if anybody wants to come do it we can come do it <laughs> Take off too fast and I'll make y'all fall. 